welcome you all to Harrow College Virtual Open Day session for English. And if you've not registered for our Open Days previously, then please fill out the registration form on, on our Open Day page. The link will be added to the chat box so you can send the recording um, for this session and keep you updated with information about the college. And if you have any questions, please um, take them into the chat box and we'll do our best to try and answer these at the end of the session. And I'm just going to read through um, a few slides. So this evening's presentation will cover courses offered, so GCSE English Language and Functional Skills. We're going to learn about the benefits and future opportunities of studying English at Harrow College, resources to support your learning, and enrichment activities to build your skills and prepare you for life at college. Life beyond college and student experiences. So the aim of the courses is to aid students' development in verbal and written communication in order to be ready for the world of work. It's to develop students' ability in analysing and processing written and verbal communication for further education and the world of work. And at the end of the course, students were, are awarded an accredited certificate from the exam board. So you will set two formal exams. So paper one is explorations in creative writing and reading. And the paper two is writer's viewpoint and perspectives. And the speaking and listening is center assessed. So the progression routes include the world, world of work has become increasingly competitive and the necessity of proof of communication skills is becoming more vital. So an English GCSE and Functional Skills English qualification can provide that evidence. And both qualifications open up opportunities for everyone, including learners whose first language is not English, but they need to operate effectively in an English speaking setting. Furthermore, both courses allow students to develop, to develop their analytical skills in the English language which can benefit students in further education, the world of work and the day-to-day -day life. So um, during COVID, we've had to become more digital and you will be using um, the likes of Google Classroom, Moodle and these platforms to support um, with your learning and teaching. So you'll be going on trips, so trips to stimulate simulating venues linked to areas of the curriculum, such as Wembley Stadium, based on the topic of a regeneration of a neighbourhood. We'll have expert speakers and examiners come in for, with forums. Students will be given the opportunity to present what they have learned and then um, gain from text. This year is based on um, diversity. We, have, we use a range of texts written by authors from across the globe which explore topical issues, we study a diverse range of topics which increases sensitivity to the human condition. These include racism and ethnicity, sexual orientation, disabilities, gender equality, environmental awareness, mental health. So our functional skills courses, so we offer functional skills in English entry level one as full time courses and level two as part time course. In this course, you can improve your English skills in reading, writing, speaking and listening. And each course will help enhance your English skills in preparation for further education and the world of work. So we have the English level um, one and two part-time course, which is an evening and daytime course. So this course is for um, adults 19 plus and um, age onwards. It's for students who need a functional skills um, English qualification. And this qualification can help you progress to further study GCSE apprenticeships or even into the world of work into a career. 
So the length of the course is um, for it runs for a full academic year, so from September to June. And um, we run the evening and daytime courses. Each les lesson is for two hours. The times and days will, will still need to be confirmed. Okay, so the, the course content. So again, we offer the functional skills English at level one and two, the new Pearson Dexcel uh, functional skills level one and level two English course. The syllabus content can be found on the Edexcel website. And um, if you just go on to the, the website there, the link is there for you to have a look. So the entry requirements, we, um, we have a mandatory entry assessment for every student who is interested in the course. Um, however, we do expect learners um, to have an ESOL or functional skills entry free qualification or and ESOL level one qualification. In some cases, learners may not have a previous quali qualification, but they have a good working knowledge of English. So your English level will be assessed via a test on the day of enrolment and the English lecturers will assess you and advise if necessary, how to upskill prior to starting the course. Okay, so in this course, you will improve your English skills. English skills. You'll improve your reading, your writing, your speaking and your listening. You will have to pass all three components to achieve an overall pass in level one. So the assessments will be in reading, writing, speaking and listening. Students will sit two exams, um, a reading and a writing exam, which consists of reading and producing a range of texts. The speaking and listening consists of two tasks an individual presentation and a formal group discussion, which is centre assessed. And students will have three opportunities to take the exams. So um, these are a couple of books that will assist you with your course um, and really kind of help you um, uh, with that. So there's the Functional Skills English Level 1 um, and the Functional Skills English Level 2. And also a few examples of books that can help you with exam practice and also with punctuation and grammar. And they are available to um, Harrow College students at a discount, only a pound from the college reception desk. So if you need um, any more information, um, you will need, um, for more information, you will need an exercise book, folder and class materials. Your teacher will tell you which textbook to buy at the start of the course. You will also need a pen and a selection of highlighters as well as a current reading book. And this can be obtained from the library. So how do you apply? Well, to apply for a course, um, choose one of these methods. So you, the easiest method is online. Um, click the course, um, then click the apply now button, fill out the form and submit. You can also do it via post. So download a form from the website, fill it in, return it to the address um, detailed on the screen. And then when we have received your application, we will contact you to arrange an interview time. So um, Shania from, um, that studied English at Harrow College, has has said that studying English language at Harrow College has made my day because it's taught me so much and it's help, helping me succeed. When cool, the teachers are very helpful and the lab is a safe place to study. So really good feedback there on this course from students. So if you um, are looking to contact, uh, contact us to perhaps gain a bit more information, if you have any um, questions, then you can email section manager and the email address is there. I'll leave it on there for a little bit so you can take a note. Okay. And 
thank you for listening and I hope you find this um, session useful. Um, if you do have any questions in the chat, please um, put them in the chat and we'll try and answer. If not, you've got the email of the section manager um, and feel free to email the section manager if you need, if you need more detailed um, answers. However, um, you can view the Welcome to College, um, to Harrow College session on our website and we'll send you a link to that um, and this recording in a few days. If you would like a more detailed um, course information, please visit our website at www.harrow.ac.uk forward slash courses. If you are ready to apply, we are accepting applications. As I mentioned, online is um, the easiest way to go about this. Um, all you need to do is head to the course that you're interested in and click the orange button to apply. If you would like any advice and support before you join the college, please get in touch. And the email is in the chat box um, and it's also on the website. We do hope um, you gained insight from this session. And um, please check out any of our other curriculum sessions that we have running. If you're interested in our, our new T levels, any apprenticeships um, or higher education for our West London Institute of Technology, you can join our live sessions on the 30th of March um, and you can register um, through the website. So I don't see any questions in the chat box. Um, however, if you do have any other questions please feel free to email the section manager the email was on the presentation and um, I think that's everything for today so we look forward to welcoming you to Harrow College